while you guys watch the video, as a teacher, I'm going to take attendance. I'm going to assemble some materials you might need for the day. I'm going to circulate the room a little bit. I'm going to facilitate focus by pausing the video maybe a couple of times and asking some questions just to keep everybody back in. It's eight minutes, so maybe two or three minutes tops, and then I want to pause it, ask a question quickly, so we bring everybody back in, and then I'll let it go again, and maybe a third time to get through the rest of it. I'm also going to manage behavior, because when you're doing this kind of thing, most kids will probably be okay with going along with this because they're actively taking notes. Some will struggle, of course, just like in any other experience. So let's, uh, let's roll. Let's take a look at velocity, acceleration, and momentum, and how they tie back to Newton's first law, which has to do with force and motion. Now, on Earth, we have the force of friction and the force of gravity that are always um, acting upon objects in motion, the magnitude and direction. So the equation for velocity is distance with direction over time. So it just has direction. Speed does not have a direction. Speed is not a vector quantity. Sorry. Okay, what's the difference between speed and velocity? Yes? Um, speed includes, um, it's just comparison between distance and time. Velocity is speed with um, direction taken into account. Yes. Okay, so the difference between speed and velocity is that velocity has a specific direction attached to it, where speed does not. Thank you. Very fast, that is going to probably go through me. Yeah. Um, probably won't survive that one. So, momentum is mass and velocity together. It will smash through the wall and actually barely even slow down and just keep on going. Okay, so momentum is the product of what two quantities? <clears throat> Mass and velocity. Mass and velocity. Great. While the lecture was going on, I created or I, I, I passed out some materials to you guys, some pieces of paper, and they have images on them that correspond with uh, 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 this, this topic, this information. So my challenge for you and your group is to create a story that tells at least part of what happened in this content using paper. And what I want you to create, what, what the product is going to be, is what I call a paper slide video. This where you slide in a piece of paper and talk about it. So we have velocity here, we got some other words, time. We can create some other images on here. We can color it to make it uh, more relevant to the content. And we slide that out. We slide the next one in. So we have velocity decreasing in this particular thing. And we talk about what that means. And then we have some guy sliding in here on a skateboard. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to create your story, and then after 15 minutes we should start filming. Okay, so I'm going to give you 15 minutes and go. More mass, more friction. So the person who holds the camera, you're going to hold it like this with your paper, paper like that, right? Pull it very steady, so the paper's in the middle, don't do this, nobody wants to watch that, and certainly don't do that, because then it'll be, right? So just like that. He goes on by saying that an object in motion at constant velocity will stay in motion unless acted upon by a force. Does this look familiar? You're traveling along the highway and are reminded to follow the speed limit. If you think about it, speed equals distance over time. We spent eight minutes at the beginning of the period and had all this other time. I would have easily spent an hour going through just the lecture of that content, you know, facilitating a discussion, and you would have said, oh yeah, you know, I had a story about velocity or acceleration, which 
may or may not be interesting and may or may not even fit and certainly may or may not engage the rest of the group. But you know, we engage in this dialogue and do the, the basic classroom management, especially 20, 30 minutes in when everybody's just yeah. tired of it, then it becomes a real struggle. Mm -hmm. So then it slows down the content, behavior becomes a bigger issue. But an alternative is what I just spoke, that show a little piece of content, pause it, to, to get interest and to keep interest for that short period of time, and then just throw some essential question or even a scenario like, tell me what you think about these images. Or I could have easily said, make up your own images. Make up your own story from nothing. Here's some paper. 